Welcome back to my channel. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I don't want to do too long of an intro because I know already this video is going to be quite long. It's my 1,000 subscriber Q&A, which I'm so excited about, guys. I finally hit 1,000 subscribers. It's been, I think my YouTube channel is about to hit three years. And so I just wanted to say a big, big thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed. It's been a long journey, but I love it. I love interacting with you guys and filming videos. So to every single one of you who's genuinely there subscribing because they love what I do and um, commenting and staying engaged, it means the world to me. And I'm so happy to have met so many of you. And I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me and making this possible for me to do and I love it. I am answering your questions today which I'm very excited about. Unfortunately I do have an issue with my MacBook. Um, I lost iMovie and I can't re-download the newer version. I had to go to the Apple Store and they downloaded like a 2015 version and so I can't edit my videos properly the way that I used to whereas like usually I would put in your comments like on the screen as I answer them so that you guys can you know see your comments, see your name, get a shout out but unfortunately Unfortunately, I can't do it like my editing system has been like really really downgraded and for the next year I'm gonna have to deal with it because I can't afford to buy a new computer right now so I'm gonna just gonna have to go with it and so um, rather than putting up your comment I'm sorry but I'm just gonna have to read out your question and um, say your name so thank you to all of you guys who answered to asked a question and let's get into it I'm taking questions from both videos I'd asked questions on. I had initially asked, proposed a video like four months ago or something to ask me questions and then um, things kind of slowed down and I didn't hit 1,000 subscribers right away and I had to take a break so all this to say that then I reposted another video reminding you guys, hey if you guys have any questions let me know. So there are two videos that I'm pulling questions from. Franson Orville World asked, um, what is your purpose in life? Which is a very very big question. I would say my purpose in life right now, the way I see it, is to just do everything that I can to better myself and be a good person. Now, I know that seems very broad, but where I'm at in life, I don't necessarily know where I'm headed or where I'm going to be, but I'm trying to do everything that I can to be the best me possible without bringing other people down. By bringing other people up and surrounding myself with the best possible people and trying to give back and give, put out in the world as much good as I can. And that's all that I'm sure about right now that I know that I'm doing that I want to keep doing. So that's my purpose right now. Hopefully down the line, um, I'm hoping one day that I'll have a family and, you know, like a larger purpose in that sense. But for now... That's where I'm at. So, great question. Thank you so much. Gian V asked, what are you feeling right now that you already have almost reached 1,000 subscribers? So, before I reached 1,000 subscribers, of course, it was, like, such a milestone that I wanted to hit. I felt like, like, that's, like, what I was working towards. And I was just excited. I was just excited to, you know, say, like, it's stupid because it's just a number and the numbers don't matter all that much. But it was just, like, 1,000 people. Like, that seems, like, really hard to imagine that there's 1,000 people out there that have subscribed to my channel and want to see more from me and that's just like a really really cool feeling. So Linda Muhair, I think it's pronounced Muhair, it's M-U-J-E-R-R -R or Mujer, I don't know, but um, girl, you, um, you're so so sweet and I love your videos, you have a great channel, but just you always leave the sweetest sweetest comments on my video and I just want you to know that it does not go unnoticed. Like I really really appreciate having you here and having your support. You're such a sweetheart and I just wanted to say a big big thank you. So her first question is what's one thing that annoys you about big YouTubers? Now that's a really good question. You start watching someone when they're like a smaller channel and then you find that like it's not, it's different I find if you find someone when they're already big you didn't know what they were like before but if you watch someone from when they were a smaller YouTuber and you see the evolution I find that sometimes it's hard to see them kind of lose who they were or what their channel was and I understand that everybody grows and everybody evolves and changes and that's going to be the same case with their brand and with their channel but there are some people that do it in a way that stays true to who they are and the audience that they've built. And then there are other YouTubers, I think, that the fame does kind of get to their head. And those are usually the ones that I kind of tend to stop watching over time, which is sad because when you have, like, a favorite YouTuber you watched for years and all of a sudden it's, like, 
they're a different person or their content's not the same or especially when they all of a sudden don't upload anymore or don't upload as frequently and because they have other projects going on which I completely understand and good for them for having reached such a level of success that they have other things that they can be working on but I think that it's not fair either to their viewers that have gotten them to this place to kind of forget about them and I realized that it's it's not like they're forgetting about them it's they're reaching a different level and they're providing them with content in a different way but um, I think to some people I think some some youtubers some bigger youtubers handle it really well the transition and they manage to keep their viewers loyal and genuine and stay true to who they are and always were while also evolving and changing and growing as a person and some people just don't and I know that that might seem like a vague answer. Hopefully you guys will understand what I mean and where you're coming from. I think that could mean something different to each person, but that's what I've found at least for me. The next one is um, Je suis juste moi, or if you're more English, you would say Je suis ju juste moi. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard when you speak a language to like do it, to say it as if you don't speak it, you know, anyways. She has, an, her too, she's like one, become one of my YouTube friends and I know sometimes it's hard, I can't keep up with all of you like super consistently but I want you guys to know that I do love you and your channel and I'm not just saying that, like you have genuinely really really good videos and she's been such a support on this channel so thank you so much girl and I'm answering your question. So, um, if you could only use three makeup products, which would you choose? Oh, that's a hard one. Not just the type, but also the specific brand. So basically, your three holy grails you cannot live without. You're shooting some hard ones at me. <laughs> Definitely, the first thing that comes to mind is mascara, because my lashes are very light, and I cannot not wear mascara. So, my mascara preferences, though, do, like, change a lot. Like, and I do use usually, like, three mascaras. Like, I'm very high maintenance with my mascara. So... Um, that answer might change over time, but right now my Holy Grail mascara would be the Buxom mascara. Um, it just does such a good job at separating my lashes, but still like adding volume and length. I love that thing, so that would be one of them. The second one would be... Oh, it's a toss-up between eyeliner or concealer, but I feel like it would probably be concealer because you can like help like fix any problem with concealer um, and you'll look more awake with like under eye concealer um, so I would say concealer and my go-to concealer is definitely the Maybelline Fit Me concealer um, I haven't really tried very many high-end concealers so I can't really give you that answer so it would be the Maybelline Fit Me concealer I love that thing and lastly it would be absolutely I have it right here no it's gone it's gone my last holy grail would definitely be the Urban Decay makeup setting spray just the all-nighter one that stuff is magic. Like, I cannot go without this thing. It makes your makeup just stay on, stay flawless, and doesn't look caked on. I love that stuff. I have an entire um, Worth the Hype video coming on the All Nighter Setting Spray, so definitely stay tuned for that if you want to hear all my thoughts on it. But that's like 100% my Holy Grail product. Thank you for your question. Fatty Sparks. I want to know when that day comes, how does it feel to have 1,000 subscribers and if you've enjoyed the process. Because um, I know sometimes it can be difficult to upload a video because um, there are days that we're just out of ideas. Love your videos. Thank you. Um, so, how does it feel to have 1,000 subscribers? I The day that I hit that, I, f I did feel like, I'm not going to lie, I felt like it was like an accomplishment. Like I was really excited and proud. Um, nothing really changes when you hit 1,000 subscribers. Like, I, I think a lot of people think, like, 1,000, it's going to be, like, this huge thing. It's not. Like, it feels amazing because you reached a milestone that, obviously, that's the first big milestone that you work towards. Um, and it didn't come easy for me. Like, I wasn't one of those people that got 1,000 subscribers, like, out of the blue. Like, I've worked hard for it, and I've uploaded consistently for three years to get to, to 1,000 subscribers. And some people reach 1,000 subscribers, you know, um, like, with, like, so quickly, and by, in the three-year mark, they're going to be hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and so, it didn't come easy to me, but I love the community that I've formed and created, like, all these friendships with you guys, and you guys have been so supportive, and I really just love posting videos and interacting with you guys, so, um, hitting 1,000 just felt, like, satisfying, and I was excited about it, and I love it, but it doesn't mean that, 
Um, I loved what I did any less when I was at 100 subscribers or 500, and I don't think that'll ever change based on the number. I think it's just cool to kind of have some recognition for the work that you've put in. Erica Moulton asked, what's your holy grail matte lip product? That's a really good question. To be honest with you, I have a really hard time using matte lip products. I think they look amazing, but I have really, really dry lips, especially in the fall and winter, and so it's very difficult for me to use matte lip products. But I would say that my favorite one I found, because the formula is so forgiving on dry lips, would be the Sephora collection. And there are very few products from the Sephora collection that I absolutely love, but I think these are not talked about enough. And it's kind of like a creamy formula that dries down matte, and those things are absolutely amazing. And they're pretty inexpensive. I think they're $13 Canadian, so I would say that is my favorite matte lip product. Leah Victor asked, the best way to get 800 plus subs. I would say that the best way to grow your channel, no matter what number you're at, is to be involved, be active in whatever you're doing. Now, that can be difficult when, you know, the real life is going on, you have school, work, whatever it may be, to stay still involved with your channel. That means posting consistently, replying to all comments on your video. I mean, of course, once you reach a certain level that you can't reply to everyone, but when you're still a relatively small channel, you should be replying to your followers, at least I think, because it really helps to create an engaged community and you get to know people and that's what's really makes it fun is when you make YouTube friends and you get to know each other and I think that makes such a big difference in doing this and people help to spread the word about your channel if you have good connection good connection with people and I think um, the best way to get your word out there about your channel is um, like I said, to be consistent and to be involved with your followers, but also to comment on everything. So if you're watching like big YouTubers and you, you know, you watch their videos consistently, instead of just being a ghost watcher, comment, like leave a comment. And the more subscribers you have, usually your comment goes more towards the top and people start to notice your name a lot on a lot of videos and they might click on your channel and find it that way and subscribe that way. Um, and also, not only on big YouTubers, but what's m more important in my opinion, is to go find other small channels or channels that are around the same size as you and comment and be engaged and subscribe and show your support there. And typically what will happen is they will follow you back, they will subscribe back and help to support your channel as well. And then you just build an audience that way through mutual support and helping each other out. And I think that that's what's really cool is that there's such a community aspect to it. So I would definitely reach out to other people. Um, some people love to do collabs. That's something that I'm not as open to just because my filming is very limited. Um, I pre-film a lot of videos because of my current situation with school. So I would say that for me that's not necessarily an option. Some people are really, really do enjoy that. But I would say just stay active and stay involved with your channel and with other people's channels. So that is the end of the questions on my first video. A lot of people on these videos just commented like thank like congratulations you hit 1000 which thank you guys all so so much. Like if I didn't um, get the chance to shout you out, it's literally just because you didn't ask a question and I can't like say every single name on these videos because the video would be too long. But thank you guys all so 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 much and the ones that asked a question, I'm answering all of them. Depending on the editing, if I see that this video is going to be too long, which I have a feeling is going to be really long, I'm going to split this into the first portion of questions that were asked on that last video that was supposed to like six months ago, and then the second portion, which was the video that I had recently uploaded, um, I'm going to split them into two. So if you don't hear your question asked in the first half of this video, definitely stay tuned next week um, or the week after. I might put a video in between just to split it up, but I will be answering every single question that was asked on those videos, but um, I had to split it because it was too long. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for asking your questions. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!